this one is so so dear to my heart my favorite 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 item now i give to this for myself she is giving me dogs me ask and it shall be given like hi guys welcome back to another video so today we'll be unboxing some of my birthday gifts so if you're interested in seeing what some of the gifts are that i received for my birthday please keep on watching this video and guys remember to download the link app the fast and easy way to safely send and receive money on your mobile phone available both on google play and the apple store also follow them at link jamaica on instagram boss 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 so yes guys as i was saying in this video we will be unboxing some of my birthday gifts now most if not all of them have already been opened and i already know what's inside this video is solely for the purposes of sharing the gifts with you guys because it was highly requested on instagram now just like what I was telling you guys, I wasn't really interested in celebrating my birthday in like a very large fashion this year. I really wasn't interested in doing unboxing videos or unboxing birthday gift videos or anything like that. So if you guys have been following me for a long period of time, you'd have realized even the unboxing that I usually do on my birthdays where I highlight small businesses, I never did that. So this video wasn't planned. So like I said, I would have opened most of the gifts already. Some of them I haven't even gotten as yet. But solely for the purposes of you guys requesting it on Instagram, I'm giving it to you because if I want to go me, if you ask me, you ever get it. So we are here. Again, I do love stuff. If you know me, I'm a stuffs girl. Just naturally I have always been and that's just how I will go out. I have tried curving like my want and my liking for things, but I've realized it's just me and it's just what I like. And recently somebody told me that I don't have a niche. As in, you know, some people like designer shoes or they like designer fragrances or they like luxury in their home. I am all of those in one. I like every single thing. So in this video, we'll be checking out everything from perfumes to shoes to bags right because like i said i love everything stuffs yeah again this video is just to show you guys what i got i'm not telling you to go out and stretch your basket where you cannot reach it i'm not telling you to go stretch nobody out but come and see one girl message me and she's a girl i need to do the video come i need to know if i ask my birthday i remember the first time i did this video a guy came up to me and he said the worst thing you did was doing that video because now every girl is sending lists for their birthday with stuff that they want i'm not gonna say no no lie yeah so when he said at first me did feel one way come and said jesus like the man they gonna stop watch me because you know the woman i'm gonna start putting them under pressure but girls if it is that you truly want these things like these are the things that you desire why not ask for them ask and it shall be given like me nobody feel bad about it because if i can give you guys like an idea sometimes you have to change your environment and i'm assuming that this is a change of environment for a lot of people like you're not going to know certain things if you're not seeing it right so me showing you these things will probably open up your taste you'll probably see it and be like oh you know that's cute i'd probably like that and whatever so you guys can definitely go ahead and use this video for inspo you know if you're not at that level to afford these things that's fine work hard get there i'm 31 i never got these things overnight and some of these things i did purchase myself but now i go come here and act like say okay everybody give me everything no these are also gifts to myself when i know mega be truthful and honest to nuka my work hard i'm gonna big up myself and i'm gonna big up nobody for the fruits of my hard labor okay so we're done preaching and we are gonna get into it so we're gonna start with the smaller items first and the smallest one i'm seeing right here is gonna be this replica perfume called bubble bath now i don't know if you guys remember when i did my luxury gift unboxing video i showed you guys the candle in the same fragrance and of course i have the candle here again because it got broken when one of my cleaners was here so i had to kind of replace it but i've always wanted the fragrance in it as in the perfume and and I never ever got it. To be honest, it was kind of expensive the first time I saw it. So I did get me a travel size. And then again, same like how the candle got broken, the travel size got broken. So I never had it. 
so when i went away recently i decided to get one of the full size bottles in it this is not even the most expensive one as in this is not the largest size it comes in this is like a medium size and it was still pretty expensive to me but this smell is just so heavenly it's not one of those perfumes that you smell anywhere it literally smells like a bubble bath it smells fresh it smells pretty it smells rich it's not floral it's just like a very boy i need to learn or to describe these things for to understand but on the bottle the replica says that its fragrance description is comforting clean accords and that really is how it smells like it just gives you this breezy airy feeling but not something that's like light like if you smell me you're gonna smell this and you're gonna be like oh my god you smell so good but not strong and not flowery you guys know no, I hate smelling like flowers like I'm a girl yes but the overly floral scents are just not for me replica bubble bath is just like a very sweet smelling uh, girly fragrance but not flowers me no know when you book me up somewhere me gonna make gonna smell it just stop me and say I want to smell the bubble bath and me gonna make gonna smell it but this is the first item in the luxury gift unboxing replica bubble bath spray or perfume i should say and then as i was showing you guys before i repurchased the candle because my last one got broken now again being that it's a very light and airy smell i feel like it was perfect in my bedroom like when i lit the candle the whole room just ended up smelling so beautiful within a matter of minutes it had a long lasting burn the scent lasted long it was just awesome and what i loved about it is you never had to burn it to smell it so even right now just opening it out of the box it's just a beautiful rich pretty smell not flowers pretty 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 just never smelled anything like this before the style description is memory in a candle and it's it's just beautiful guys you you gotta try it and if you've tried it before please comment below let the people know what i'm talking about like if you guys know the description of it or have another way to describe the smell please do and let's talk about it because it says mason margiela paris bougie perfume okay as i always try to explain to you guys just about anything in life can be luxury candles pots sheets slippers fingernails earrings everything can be luxury so if you're looking for a soft life if you're looking to enjoy the fruits of your labor you're not have to buy something big like a bag or a shoes or a car you can't start with a candle not expensive do you know you have other style but i'm just to say you can try other stuff you can start with a candle right yeah you could still get luxury from a candle because i'm telling you bubble bath candle chef's kiss bubble bath perfume love that we are gonna move on now to another candle which is gonna be forever mood and it's called caked up now i follow jackie aina which is a popular influencer on instagram right and this is her candle brand now when i saw this in sephora i just decided that i would have tried getting it because if i want to you know if you know jackie right lavish by jackie especially the page day jackie is also all about luxury and jackie in a luxury with everything i mean when jackie wake up in a morning time she steam our sheets them i'm mean, gonna I mean she has steam it because i know reason she has steam it because that is her luxury like she likes when her sheet resembles sheets from like a hotel all right jackie have a luxury in her coffee like that girl there she know what luxury life is all about so this is her candle brand and when i passed it i had to take it up caked up literally smells like cake it smells so sweet like there's a bath and body candle bath and body works candle that smells similar to this i think it's called oh, oh god i don't want to lie to you guys something another elf um like a drunken elf or something like that i don't know what it's called cassandra has it this smells like it but 10 times more the fragrance this is so sweet so if you are somebody who is interested in like sweet smelling fragrances you could definitely gift this yourself or include it on your christmas gift list or birthday gift list this smells so good and i keep telling you guys like from i can pop the cap of the candle and smell it without having to burn it it's a yes for me because i'll just have them sitting around the house without the top on for you to just pass by and whiff it oh forever mood candle in cake top it's a 20 out of 10 
for me girls run don't walk to get that candle okay so next on the list we are gonna do another fragrance and this one is from christian louboutin now this gift came in pretty pretty early probably like a month before my birthday but that doesn't stop it from being one of my favorite gifts that i've received to date also i never even knew that christian louboutin made fragrances i don't know why but again like i'm saying to you guys you have to kind of open up to certain things because if i never changed my environment or met like new people i wouldn't know about this so change is not always bad and meeting new people is not always bad right so that's a lesson in this so yeah christian louboutin and this one is called lube hold on i don't want to lie to you guys this one is called lube luna right so this is lube luna now this I am in love with it. I realized that, again, I don't like floral fragrances. I more like spicy, woody, sandalwood type fragrances. And this is as spicy as I've ever gotten. Like right now, it's killing me. It has like such a noticeable gingery, <sighs> rich, spice smell it's not something that you necessarily wear in the daytime it's something that you'd probably wear more in the nighttime i personally do not care i will wear the fragrances anywhere because i want to be smelled I want for kicking at your face before you even see me that mawaya spin on i said my god that girl is smell good right and this fragrance gives me just that if you realize it's even in a dark bottle like that's how it smells it smells dark it smells rich, it smells strong, and a little goes a long way in this fragrance. But you know me, I got kill it from head to toe, so I style for by the time I'm finished. But this Lubelina is definitely also a 20 out of 10. I haven't gotten any fragrance as yet for my birthday that I can say didn't live up to, you know, like the hype. I mean, I never knew about this one before, but I mean, in terms of the hype of being a birthday gift, like they've all slapped so far, like yeah my people know how to gift next on the list is gonna be the joe malone fragrance and we're gonna go ahead and open it and what i really love about like shopping in foreign i like that they put it back in a box like i never you just purchase it i purchased this one for myself and the man just kindly put it back in one box and just tie one bow on it like i never me so i'm gonna come home again i'm gonna come for what minutes is a whole brand new experience again like i'm re-gifting myself and i just feel so so good about that so here we have it the joe malone fragrance in scarlet poppy now what's crazy about this is when i smelt it first i didn't buy it like i saw it online and there was a lot of hype about it but when i went into the store and i smelt it i was like oh, it's okay but cassie ended up getting it for a gift and i'm gonna tell you guys every time she wears this i'm like girl what are you wearing also has a spicy smell but it's not as strong as lube luna from christian louboutin that i just showed to you guys it's also lighter but it's still spicy but it has more of a sweet smell to it so if you don't want to go all the way spicy which is going to be kind of strong for some people you can definitely try scarlet poppy this again is going to be a 20 out of 10 when you want to tie for your dad but on a line you tell the fragrances smell so good i need you if you've ever used scarlet poppy before comment below please let my followers know that this is the bomb now i already love joe malone because their home fragrances are amazing so trying a perfume from them was a no-brainer for me i've actually had perfumes from them before and they were also good so i never had a problem trying this so on this time around i had to go ahead and get scarlet puppy and i'm telling you right now it has so many different layers like i'm smelling so many different things so when i sprayed it first it was one thing no i'm smelling something else and i know that when this dies down like an hour or two hours after it seeps in it's gonna smell like something else so for my girls who want to be noticed when you have your perfumes on joe malone scarlet puppy write that down replica bubble bath lighter fragrance definitely for daytime write that down this one date night so all my guys watching if you want to get the girl a nice fragrance for date night right if you want to just be like all over her scarlet poppy girl so if you're going to want club now right are you decide to say you're gonna look at look a man you understand you could get lubelina lubeluna the man now gonna ever forget you i'm gonna ask you tell me i tell you no write it down all right and tell me when you know buy it wanna think you know i'm gonna lead on astray all right next on the list now we're gonna do another small gift now this one is so so dear to my heart and you guys might be like why because it's not a luxury item it does not matter and like i said to you i do not have one thing that 
that I'm in love with. I'm in love with all things. All things nice, all things cute, all things beautiful. And this gift is also close to my heart because it was given to me by my sister. And the gift I'm talking about is actually the case that this Instax mini camera is in. So I sent it to my sister and I asked her to purchase it for me for my birthday and she did. And I am so happy. So if you're somebody who owns a Polaroid camera or you don't own it as yet and you're gonna get one, I feel like you should invest in a case. Now this one is acrylic. So it is a hard shell case and it has like specks of glitter on it. I'm really hoping you guys can see these items. I completely forgot. I was filming in cinematic and probably it's blurry, but let's hope for the best. And it actually comes with this cute little rainbow strap in the packaging. So you get the case and the rainbow strap. So I bring my camera mostly on my vacations and I take like pictures that I wanna keep in like a small album. So having a case for it and a very cute case is actually something that I really, really wanted. So when I sent it to her and she was like, okay, finally something I can get you for your birthday. Cause she believes I'm expensive, you know? I was like, yeah girl, this is it. I'm gonna love it and I really do love it. It just completes my whole camera case. It completes my whole vibe. I am so, so in love. And after I read some of the reviews online, you know, they were saying when you get the straps, don't attach it to the holes that are on the case because you might break it. So you attach it to the camera itself so you have longevity. She purchased this one on Amazon, so I could definitely go ahead and link this for you down below. I link the camera and also the case if you're interested in getting it. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite birthday gifts. Thank you again, sister. Mm -hmm. We are moving on in the unboxing and we are going to be doing... Actually, let me do this one from my brother. So again, as I was telling you guys, I am into luxury in terms of everything like i'm just not about one item so this is a luxury kettle yes look at it it's electric right so it comes with this base that you rest the kettle on and i know you guys might be saying why is a kettle a birthday gift do not argue with me it is what i like and it is what i wanted and i got just that so what i like about it is that it matches the aesthetics of my kitchen now and i just kind of wanted to drift away from the normal kettles that you put on the stove itself just because i don't know i just don't want it anymore <laughs> But I'm definitely somebody who drinks tea a lot. So I probably drink tea three times a day. So for me to invest in a kettle, an electric kettle, just fits me. If it's not somebody where I drink the tea and you just not understand why me get a kettle for my birthday, it's fine. That's all right. Everything is not for everybody. For me though, this is beautiful. This is amazing. I have not tried it as yet. As you realize, I just took it out of the plastic because I actually just got it today from my brother. So you can turn it up and turn it down. So if you don't want it to boil too high or you know, you just want it for warm it. And it also has a temperature thing on it, like a gauge that can keep the water in it warm for a specific period of time. Listen to me. As I'm telling you, anything at all can be luxury. So this is my luxury kettle. So when I do show you guys a little kitchen tour or a little kitchen update that I plan on doing, you guys are gonna see my luxury kettle sitting pretty on the counter. Now again, this one was purchased from Amazon, so I'm going to save the link for you guys and put it in the description box below if you are interested in ordering it. But I just think it is the cutest of the thing. Like, look at it. I just feel like it's completing my life and my kitchen vibe. Next on the list, which you guys are probably familiar with, Remember, I was telling you guys about Jo Malone and their home fragrances. And also, if you've watched, again, my luxury unboxing video, I featured these Jo Malone home products, right? What am I telling you? Me buy this myself and the man just wrap it up nicely. Like a first near seat. So when I come on with it, it's a brand new package me I open. Now again, as I was trying to school you guys before, you can have luxury in perfume, luxury in home fragrances, luxury in just about anything. So Jo Malone is basically a luxury brand. And these are their luxury luxury diffusers now a diffuser is basically oil in a bottle and it comes with these sticks you stick it in and over a period of time the oil soaks up into the sticks and when breeze or any air passes by the scent just kind of fills the room now what i like about this is it lasts very long now my last one i think lasted me probably about two and a half months if not three months i'm sure i'm not lying it's about that long right i had it for a very very long time and like i said it's oil so you know oil lasts way longer than if it it was like a water-based solution now i've had this this fragrance before pomegranate noir i normally 
have this in my bedroom and then i had the velvet rose and oud in the living room now as you bust my living room door you have to smell the velvet rose and oud my only issue is that this one is more expensive than these maybe if i treat another black buckle or what this one is probably like $20 more but I still love it and I had to get it again just because anytime anybody comes to my house and smells it they always remember or they ask me what smell is that I'm gonna have to tell them say it's a diffuser right where you pass right there so you understand it smells up the whole room and if you guys remember what my living room looks like it's pretty big the living room and the kitchen and you're smelling this very small diffuser in that very big space now I went ahead and added lime basil and mandarin now this is supposed to be one of their signature fragrances so this clearly lime basil and mandarin it's very citrusy so i'm gonna use this one what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this by the entrance table and this in the living room i don't know i feel like it's gonna be a little bit overpowering and maybe i should save one for another time but i'm gonna try it first because i just feel like why not you get what i say like why not just be extra but lime basil and mandarin very citrusy velvet rose and oud it's very strong very masculine very mm, what should i say it's all also very overpowering but in a more dark sense this is lighter and then pomegranate nowhere is very loving very sweet not flowersy when a normal like flowers but it is very sweet very mm, sensual so this one fit the bedroom to me this one fit as my puller girl door and then this one is just nice to have in the living room i'm not sure if i'm gonna have all three open at once probably i'll still stick to two but i have a third one just in case they get done and like i said they come with the sticks and everything inside and of course being a luxury brand even the sticks have ribbons on them so you already know i'm in love with joe malone and i am in love with those home fragrances my best friend also gifted me these rubber tory birch sandals no they are a new style that they have come out with but one thing i never like is they did not include a dust bag in the box like i don't know if the guy at Nordstrom didn't put the dust bag in the box or it fell out before he gave it to me. But I definitely did not see a dust bag in the box. And that's my only turn off. Outside of that, I love these sandals. They are so firm, even though they're jelly, but not firm enough to hurt your feet. Only normal love a push in foot sandals. And whilst I wanted like one of the leather ones that all the girlies have, I thought this was just so different and so, so cute. I can wear it to the beach if I want. I can wear it on a regular day if I want. And the price point was not too high and of course it's rubber so it's gonna last me a very long time just like it would if I had gotten like one of the leather ones so I'm 100% in love with these sandals you can definitely check them out like I said these are Tory Burch I can't remember what the name is but yeah these are new and you guys can definitely add this to your Christmas list or your birthday list so now we are moving up on the list to more bigger items in size and also in price point now this is probably one of my favorite gifts it's not one that i expected to get right but it was definitely still on my dream list of stuff but i just never thought like it was a time for it but anyways here we are so again louis vuitton one of my absolute favorite brands i realized that i gravitate more to louis vuitton stuff than i do gucci stuff i don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing or maybe i just haven't seen anything at gucci as yet but yeah louis vuitton i definitely like it so it is going to be a pair of shades do you see a pair of shades or do you just say shades anyways it's gonna be a shade right and they come in this small leather blue case right and we're gonna flip it open one thing as i'm telling you when i spend all the money the people them gonna be things be things them gonna for the money so here we go with another little cute case that the glasses comes in now these are some gold aviator sandals from louis vuitton now a lot of you guys are gonna be like you could just buy a normal aviator glasses that's fine buy a normal aviator glasses me we have them one air this is nice this is lovely now i don't know if you guys can tell by the detailing on the frame it has like some small lvs printed on it they also have lv printed right around the frame right on the edge of the handles on the inside of the parts that sit on your nose it's just the details for me i mean this is just one of those pieces that kind of complete the look you know you don't feel really do too much on a normal day you could just drop your glasses on in a little vehicle drive around this is very soft life you understand what i'm saying and i offer it too much right i do still think that the price 
price point is high, but it's cute. And we know that so the dear people them are gonna sell them things them dear. So if you don't want it, just not bother with it, nobody argue with them about the price of them stuff. If you want it, you get it, you wear it, and that's it. So, like I was saying, I do think it's pretty cute. I mean, it's have a look rich look, wanna think. I still do love my other black one that I featured in the previous video. I do love that one over this one, but I just feel like this is a whole different style. Like they're not in the same category. So that's fine. This is more of a cool day. My other one is more of a statement look. So I don't mind this one at all. This is just gonna go on with anything. Any little thing, you know, you just are running little errands, like I said, in a little vehicle. Or you're running going to one little meeting, you wanna drop on your little glasses for create a statement, but not too big of a buzz, right? So these are, like I said, Louis Vuitton AV creator glasses and i want thing them heavy you can tell say so you spend money upon it right the heaviness and the details of it also the packaging that they give you is just a lot like them really go all out for making no say all right this is very expensive so i'm gonna get enough paper enough box enough bag yeah so next on the list now is another one of my favorite 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 gifts from one of my favorite 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 people now i saw this bag when telfar announced it but i was like no i don't like it and it was kind of expensive too this bag was probably like for the medium size this was more expensive than normal ones that they usually have and i'm just like mm, no i have a black one already so let me not but i ended up getting this telfar puff collection medium size bag from one of my favorite for my birthday she surprised me with it it is so light it is much lighter than the normal telfars but you know because of the type of material it is you have to be careful but this bag is screaming posh i've carried it before i've carried it since i've gotten it just about one time and i really do love it i kind of feel like i love it more than my other black one that i have it's not as flimsy if you want to call it flimsy you know how the telfars normally can like fold up and bend up this cannot fold this cannot bend this can if you realize it don't have the crease the normal telfars would have the crease where they fold it back that way you know this not have that this cannot bend this is very firm this is very very sturdy this is worth the 264 dollars that my friend paid for it but i'm telling you no lie i love it it have the same features as the other telfar actually i know i like me a tell it's a one little pocket up at the front one nice little pocket where you could have put one ipad mini i never saw this and then it has the normal zipper pocket or zipper closure and then the the little snap closure that all of the other ones have yeah yeah man good things and i like that my friend knew me enough to know that she could have gotten me a telfer and i would have loved it and she got me one that i never had one that i would have probably never gotten for myself but one that i would appreciate it is beautiful guys comment below and let me know what you think of this telfer i know probably most of you guys this is gonna be the first time you're seeing this style when i saw it on the site too i was like this is really different but just couldn't get it you understand what i'm saying but comment below let me know what you guys think of this telfar puff collection bag mm -hmm. love that all right so what are we gonna do next okay i know what i'm gonna do next here we go your girl's first fendi right your girl's first fendi and i'm very excited because i've wanted this item for a very long time and also guys point of information you are probably wondering how my friends gift me things that i want or need i created this thing called a dream list and i have it throughout the year so if you ever want to get me something all my friends have to do is go on the list i'll put the link below you can go on create an account and then you add the items that you want or like on the list you can add your size you can add your shipping address this is not sponsored anyway this is just me sharing some information with you guys but yeah you could add that you know add whatever you want to the list and just copy the list and send it to your friends and your family you can put it on your link in your bio in on your instagram and that is how you know people know what to get you they won't have to ask you or you can just be old fashioned no problem and just create a list in notes or in text messages you can do that too but dream list you can add the pictures of the item that you want the color and whatever so again this little fendi item was on my dream list and somebody got it for me i've wanted this for such a long time guys look at it 
it is so beautiful it is a fendi hat oh my god i love it and the details at the side with the red if you know me or if you've seen me on the road most of the time ear in a comb as you can tell like i'm a girl who just drawn and goat so to get these little items like this hat where i can put it over my bed in and kiss enough yeah cost me and i say when you go up on the road you can't comb your ear no i can just draw on my little fendi hat and go wish for me and go yeah i love it it's so cute guys from you know so from i get it when i actually try it on so i don't even know what it looks like on me because when i got it i had my ponytail in so i couldn't put it on and even right now i still have an updo so i cannot even try it on but i've seen it on the site i've seen it on instagram and i love it first fendi item popping my fendi bubble so yeah love this guys so 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 cute all right, we are gonna go to another one of my favorite. Everything from this are my favorites. I said, I said, I don't know. Like, I'm gonna say go to one more of my favorites. I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna sell that for every single thing when I say from the writers. I said, I'm gonna lie. I love everything. Everything is some of my favorites. Again, this is gonna be another one of my first. I've never had anything from Burberry before, but my comfort be 31, I'm gonna get it. It is never too late, okay? Never too late to get something for the first time or try something for the first time. Take it from me. This again was on my dream list. Ooh, isn't it so cute? It is so preppy. Ah, Burberry. I'm gonna try it on already. That's why this lace pull up and looks so. I don't know me if I put my foot tonight. They fit big. So I think this is a half size smaller than what I would actually wear. Don't quote me on that. But that's what I was told. So these, again, like I said, were on my dream list. Two of these were on my dream list. But I think this is my favorite out of the two. It's just so preppy. It's so cute. You could dress this up or dress this down. Like I can't see myself wearing this on set. I could wear it with a blazer to like an interview. Or I could just wear it like on a regular day running era. I can't even go a party like this. Imagine me and go all in a sans in a little Burberry sneakers. This is so hot. At 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 at. And like I said, it's my first Burberry item and I'm in love. Now imagine now when I step out into the Burberry sneakers. Watch me now. No, watch me now. I step out now my Burberry sneakers. See me ya. Bam. I'm offended at. Talk true. My match out. Let me this. Cute, 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 outfit. Yeah, them angle big man, no lie. Them angle the lady for our 31st birthday. Them angle are. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Last but not least, my favorite, favorite, favorite item. Now, I gifted this for myself because I just feel like I'm the ultimate doll and I needed this. This, again, was also on my dream list for somebody to gift it to me, but... I ended up going to the store and seeing it and I was like, yeah, I got to get this for myself. So it is another Louis Vuitton item. As I told you guys, I have a slight obsession with Louis Vuitton and that is okay. I work very hard and if I want to get that for myself, I will. <laughs> right so we're gonna go ahead and open this baby up so you guys can see like i said it was on my dream list this was probably my second favorite bag that i would have wanted but when i went to the store they didn't have the first one and then i saw this one on the shelf and i started to drool i was like oh my god it's so cute and the lady took it down and handed it to me and it was love at first sight now it comes wrapped up of course what I'm telling you, when I get the dear things them, them wrap them up firm and nice in a paper. I may buy this to myself and then wrap it up like I first may see. So we're going to go ahead and pull the cute little Louis sticker from it. Right. I'm going to put that back in the bag. And of course, again, you get a dust bag for your item. Guys, count to three. One, two, like your eye. Three, open it now. She is giving me luxury. She is giving me dull lifestyle. I love her. I'm gonna fix her up properly. Make no can see. What is what is strap? I don't want on. May I show no? I love the lady when I see her upon the shelf. When I saw her on the site, I was like, yeah, in love. But when I actually saw her in the store and then the lady took it down and gave it to me, I was like, Cassie, what? I have to get this bag now outside of this small strap that it has here which makes it perfect for like a little date night you know when you want to look, look up posh and you want to just cock off your hand right so with your bag so right on the inside they include a long strap so if you want to carry like hanging from your shoulder you can 
I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. And to be honest, the long strap is so beautiful to me because of the black with the gold details. Like, it's just so pretty. It's one of the prettiest bags I've ever, ever seen. And I'm so happy that I could have given this to myself. Oh my God, I worked so hard. And I just feel like sometimes you really have to just sit down and say, wow, you know, you kind of reach a local level. And you can't give yourself a local something. A local something, something. Nothing wrong. You can't give yourself a local something, something. Because if you would have give it to yourself, or you want somebody else to give it to you. And that's what I'm saying. You not buy yourself a bag. Or you're going to tell the man, say, buy me a bag. You never buy yourself a bag. You don't deserve a bag. Buy yourself a bag. And then the man can say, all right, then cool. I look about giving her a local bag. Look at it now. Look at it. Look at it. God, and then you know you can go so too if you want. You didn't have to take off the strap, just go so and just get a little full and carry a bag with everything. Of course, it has their signature lock on it, right? I'm hoping you guys can see this and it's not blurry. And it also has their signature key and it's in the monogram print. You have the lighter print up top and a darker print at bottom. No, no, look here now. No, me this see me a brand right out. Me in my hat and me in my sneakers. I'm just wanting to know some would do it. Maybe wear the bowl of them one time and a three different brand me not care because I might want to look there. Look there, I'm very proud and I am very happy with these items and I must thank everyone who took the time out and spent their money, you know, to gift me something for my birthday. I definitely feel the love outside of us doing brunch and doing everything else that we did. You know, my friends understand that I love stuffs. You know and it's not like i won't appreciate anything you know i appreciate everything this is a sweetie but the fact that they understand me and they try to love me in my language i really appreciate that and that is why i also gift them as well because giving the gift really gives me just as much joy as getting the gift so yeah from me to me beautiful right <laughs> But yes, guys, as I was saying, this was the last item in the birthday gift unboxing video. Please don't forget to like this video. Also, comment below which item was your favorite, which item you're thinking about getting, which item you already have. Let me know how you feel about it, if you like it. I want to engage with you guys in the comments, so please feel free to leave your opinion. I have no issues with it. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and also share it to your stories on Instagram so I can go ahead and repost it and also send you a private message. Subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next video bye